States. Call 1-800-ELK-OHIO. And now, WTOL 11 Sports, sponsored by Jim White Honda. Thanks to Jim White Honda. Baseball action tonight. The Indians have been 2-1 and one since the All-Star break on the road in Kansas City, but doing it without catcher Jan Gomes. Check this out. You see him down there. Yesterday, he finally broke his 0-27 for 27 slump at the plate, but in the fifth, he hit the grounder, their third, tried to beat it out, and got tangled up at first right there. You see, he goes down hard. He left the game, and today, Cleveland announced he's on the DL for four to eight weeks because of that right shoulder injury. Now, as for the game, first inning, nobody on in Francisco. Lindor hits a solo bomb to right. Say goodbye to that one. Tribe up to a quick 1-0 lead. This season, the Indians are 41-12 and when they score first. So promising start for the Tribe. And Corey Kluber gave a solid performance from the mound. Eight strikeouts and eight innings of work. But the Indians' bullpen can't close it out for him. Disastrous eighth. Indians lose 7-3. Tigers hosting the Twins. Second inning, nobody on. And Justin Upton goes yard to left. Solo shot to give Detroit the one nothing lead. And that would be enough. They win it. One zip. And it was superhero night at Fifth Third Field. Ant-Man making a special appearance tonight. Hunts down one in the third. And Dixon Machado hits this double to deep left center. And that scores a run. And that ties up the game. We have a tie ball game at Fifth Third. And then in the fourth, Hens extend the lead lead with this Dean Green two-run homer to right center. Long gone for Dean Green. Mudhens tack on a few more and win it 7-5. And some Ohio State football news coming out of Columbus today. Buckeyes running back Briante Dunn has been dismissed from the team. In three seasons with the Buckeyes, Dunn rushed for just 287 yards and three touchdowns, but was among the names of players shaping up to fill the hole left by Ezekiel Elliott. But Ohio State issued a release today saying he violated team rules, and our sources say it was an altercation with a female. Now with Dunn gone, talks have now shifted to the redshirt freshman Mike Webb taking the starting role. And it's hard to believe the Marathon Classic is over, but yesterday's final round was quite the thriller. A record four holes of sudden death. You see Lydia Ko, Miram Lee, and Aria Jutanagarn all vying for that trophy right there, all at 14 under. We go to the fourth playoff on the par 5 18th hole, and with that putt right there, number one in the world. And 2014 champ, now 2016 champ as well at Marathon Classic, Lydia Ko sinks it for the win. It was her fourth of the year and her 14th win of her career. And we're told the Marathon Classic will be a week later next year, running July 20th through the 23rd. Also, some other news tonight. Start High School's Janiel Douglas committed to play football at the University of Toledo, so we'll be seeing him in a Rockets uniform soon. And that's it for sports. We'll be right back.